The bluebell is probably one of Britain's best known wildflowers. It is a member of the lily family and has a clever way of surviving under the dense shade of woodland. The green leaves emerge early in the year, well before the leaves of the trees open. This means the bluebell does most of its growing with plenty of light and so replenishes the nutrients stored in its bulb. The flowering bit is really the end of the cycle and the leaves die away until the following year. Because bluebells spread very slowly, they're considered to be an indicator of ancient woodland sites. Even if the trees are not very old, the fact there are bluebells around can indicate that there has been a wood on the site for a very long time. Even if there are no trees at all, the bluebells tell us that there was a woodland there at some point in the past. In folklore, bluebells are also known as fairy flowers. It was believed that fairies use bluebells to trap passerby, particularly small children. Other folklore tales would have us believe that the wearing of a wreath made of bluebell flowers, the wearer would be compelled to speak only the truth or that if you could turn one of the flowers inside out without tearing it, you would eventually win the one you love. Bluebell plants are poisonous. The chemical that makes them poisonous was used in alchemy and is being studied for its medicinal qualities because it contains things called water-soluble alkaloids that could be useful in developing drugs to fight cancer. Twenty-five to forty-nine percent of the world's population of bluebells are found in the UK. There are some in Western Germany, but none in Scandinavia. In the United Kingdom, the bluebell is a protected species under the Wildlife and Countryside Act 1981. Landowners are prohibited from removing common bluebells on their land for sale and it is a criminal offence to remove the bulbs of wild common bluebells. Bluebells can be white as well as blue. These rare individuals lack the pigment that gives bluebells their distinctive colour. Seventy-one percent of native bluebells are found in broadleaf, woodland or scrub. The biggest threats to bluebells are habitat loss and uprooting of the bulbs for gardens. Sheep and cattle can cause considerable harm by grazing on bluebell leaves. Similarly, the introduction of monkjack deer is causing many problems as the animals are partial to the bluebell leaves and can cause great damage by eating them to the ground and by crushing them. The bulbs produce an extremely sticky substance which was once used to stick the pages in books and the feathers on arrows. Bluebell bulbs were also crushed to provide starch for the ruffs of Elizabethan collars and sleeves. It takes at least five years for a seed to grow into a bluebell bulb. Bluebells are an important early food flower for bees, hoverflies and butterflies which feed on nectar. 
bees can steal the nectar from bluebell flowers by biting a hole in the bottom of the bell, reaching the nectar without pollinating the flower.